In your multicultural spotlight, farm living in the city, a far on the city's far east side, uh, a family is making that work. An impulse horse purchase during the pandemic is now a passion project. News 8's multicultural reporter Katera Winfrey found out the focus is on providing something out of the ordinary for black youth. Looking around Broganville Farms, you may think this is a generations long operation, but this family is hoping to have an impact on generations. Settled on the city's far east side, they're hoping to provide some exposure to inner city kids who may not ever get to see anything like this. This is reminiscent of scenes from the Old West, but these horse riders call Indy's Far East Side home, and it's not uncommon in these parts to see them galloping alongside concrete roads. My grandpa and grandma, they're from uh, Meridian, Mississippi, uh -huh. uh, so I mean, it's in us, uh, <laughs> the country's in us. Kadeem Brogan got out of the Air Force in 2020 and moved back home. On impulse, he bought his first horse, Midnight. Oh, everybody thought I was crazy. Everybody didn't believe I was going to do it, but... Once we got the horse, uh, then it became a lifestyle. Today, the stables have expanded quite a bit, with a new one expected any day now. As the furry family grows, this family, oldest to youngest, keeps it all running. Muhammad Fox has a good hold on the family reins. It's just continuing the legacy. You know, as you know, uh, we were some of the top people when it came to horse racing and the Kentucky Derby, but for forever we had to be behind the scenes. Now we just like to ride down the street and be out in front. This work goes beyond the family. It corrals the community. Growing up here, they know farm experiences like this are limited. So throughout the year, the family business shows up for the community and also opens its gates for even closer experiences. Giving Indiana the down south feel and trying to give the kids of the inner city uh, a different look of the black man and the black family. The smiles it brings to kids is worth it because they'll always find at least one or two kids whose life changes, maybe just for the moment, the day or lifetime. If someone's having a bad day or somebody having a tough day, if I bring a goat to the, the neighborhood, if I bring a horse to the neighborhood, I mean, it just changes the, the whole environment. Later at the end of the month, they will be out for a few community day events, one at the Community Alliance of the Far East Side. And again, back here on the farm, you'll be able to meet horses like this one, Cuban. Reporting on the Far East Side, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.